Man, they seem to be announcing stuff earlier and earlier. We already have news of the brand new set that's going to be coming out in December, let alone like the set that's coming out next month or anything like that. No, we have a whole look at the high class set that's coming out in December and people are going to be losing their mind over the stuff. It's going to be pandemonium. It's really going to be 2021 all over again. According to some people, other people still have some speculation about but what's the news. I'm sure everybody, at least on Instagram, has kind of seen what's going on. The new high class set in Japanese was announced and it's going to feature something that a lot of people went nuts so but so for it's going to feature some evolutions not just any evolutions no it's going to be the terrestrial you know crazy hat ring pop looking ones that everybody fucking didn't like it's going to be featuring all those ones pokey beach actually put something out this was a rumor like floating around for a little bit i think okay j love was the first person i saw talking about it and everybody kind of dismissed it as like yeah sure whatever dude yeah more evs like that's the talk that's going to be happening for everything everyone kind of blew it off everyone kind of did that but no pokey beach actually gave us a little bit of gave us a little nugget of something for us to look at so let's check this out real quick terrestrial festival set will feature the evolutions releases in december so it's june and we already have access to what's going to be featured in the high class set in december you know we can't can't be excited for anything more it's going to have to go away when it, it's, it's crazy we can now confirm terrestrial festival is the name of japan's annual high class pack set it will release on friday december 6th the set will feature Eevee and its popular Eeveelutions as Pokemon EX. Presumably, they will be Terra Pokemon. So, at this point, this is a whole lot of speculation. We know Eevees are going to be featured, and I'm assuming they have, like, an inkling for why they're going to be Terrastal. I'm assuming it's because of the name of Terrastal Festival, and that's for the new Terrastal Pokemon that are going to be coming out with all that stuff, too. But, of course, ultimately, this whole thing is going to be, you know, subject to change or anything like that. Releasing alongside the set will be products featuring Eevee and its Eeveelutions, including a bunch of sleeves, collectible files, rubber mats damage counters a whole bunch of stuff you know plush cases all the whole thing it's going to be an ev good time everybody lost their mind over this by the way as posted before a stellar sylveon ex pre-constructed deck is releasing in japan on august 30th so we'll be treated a little bit to evolutions already but this is interesting because they really didn't like say a whole lot but everybody kind of went a lot with this stuff so if this is true let's just assume this is true at this point so there's going to be terrestrial evolutions they're gonna have the crazy hats the things that everybody does not like about scarlet and violet per se right fuck and everybody just wants to write that off and say it doesn't even matter right so that's going to be interesting because a lot of people do not like that concept and they don't really like cards a lot of stuff too there are some instances where the cards come out good greninja is a pretty good example of that but ultimately people do not like them hell the the terrestrial charizard is not even one people prefer they couldn't even make charizard cool that stuff do people hate the charizard card no but the 151 the big ed the one where he's fucking eclipse in the sun that's the one people prefer the most. This is a concept that people generally don't like. It's emulating Sword and Shield all over again where a concept was released. People don't like it. People warm up to it a little bit, and then people start releasing specific versions of cards. And, of course, some of those cards fetch pretty high prices. It gets people interested in it purely for the price. People lie. They say they like the art. They like the concept and all that stuff. It's the same thing with the VMAX cards for Evolutions. People just like that some of them are pricey. And it's going to be very interesting to watch people flip-flop on their opinions about Scarlet and Violet if this stuff comes out. And it's true. And there's some crazy over-the-top art like for Terrastal Umbreon or Terrastal Espeon or Terrastal Sylveon or something like that. There's going to be a crazy amount of flip-flopping and people going crazy over that stuff. What also would be funny is if it didn't even feature any Terrastal arts of them, like Terrastal alt arts or anything. It just had the full art ones of that. I'm saying they're popular Pokemon. That's probably not going to necessarily be the case. There probably will be some crazy art of at least one or two of them for sure. But that would be crazy if like it was just like the full art ones. People would not care. It would not even fetch any kind of crazy price. It would be a little bit higher, but no one really is going to go for that stuff. It would have to be a Terrastal alt art, and it would have to be something pretty crazy. I'm not even too sure it's capable of topping anything Sword and Shield did either, because people really hold that in high regard, and I don't, I don't just foresee an art coming out and just like absolutely stomping that just just yet i guess we'll see and i'm welcome to be fucking surprised but at the same time like it, people already hold that in a crazy regard people already hold those cards in a super high regard the other thing i saw people talking about too is like people talking about prices of the boxes or being kind of worried about scalping or anything like that because these feature evolutions and the whole thing of that just made me laugh because it's like when have people cared about scalpers to begin with i mean 2021 people obviously paid that price but like people asked for some crazy prices for some ev heroes and it didn't stop people from opening them up it didn't stop people from chasing cards it's not going to stop people now either people really don't care 
care that much about scalpers. You can tell because of what they're willing to spend their money on. If they actually buy product at those crazy prices and their defense is, well, I got to make product. I got to make content. I got to do this. I got to do that. They ultimately don't care about the scalping in the first place. And honestly, they probably feel a little bit better about it because it's a little more exclusive. They get their hands on some pricier stuff. It's an even bigger flex because you have that and a lot of people don't or some people don't or you can get a lot of it. You're going to drop $2,000 on eight boxes because someone in Japan said it needs to be $250 and you're like, well, okay, I guess that's the price. And then it just becomes an even bigger flex for people. It's people don't fucking care about the scalping and like people acting like they're not going to buy it. If it's like a crazy price is also ridiculous. Only a few people have ever put their money where their mouth is regarding that. And it's not, it has not been a whole lot of people. They just ultimately were like, yeah, I'm still going to buy. It. I'm still going to fucking get it. I don't care. And then with the fall of Japanese card prices as well, is it even going to be something people care about? Is this going to really resurge the Japanese market? Once again, a lot of people are saying the Japanese card market is crashing. It's falling down. It's going in shambles. When all actuality, the market, Market itself is just correcting it's literally going back to the way it was before people pretended they like japanese cards in the first place it's it's kind of crazy i have some of the best japanese cards that you can get some of the craziest ones from the sun and moon era the sword and shield era the xy era and it's because they used to be dirt cheap i do not have a ton of money far from it i was able to pick these up because nobody was interested nobody really cared no one knew that these were really out there and a lot of people hopped on and pretend the full art trainer market that is an easy example of people hopping on a market just to pretend that it's something they like and then watching it down then they blame like the card itself they blame the japanese card for like the stock going down or the price going down the, the people aren't interested in this stuff and no they're not but people pretended that they were so they could sell people something they did that they didn't really like anyway like it's very obvious for that stuff i'm very curious how this is going to affect the japanese market as well because people pretending that they like these cards once again for the sake of being able to get some high class stuff first in order to actually flex on that whole thing in order to get some evolutions in order to chase some evolution alt arts for something they're going to sell the second they can get the english version of that stuff instead it's just it, i i don't know it's going to open a whole can of worms people lost their minds about that stuff it just got me thinking about the events that happened the concepts that were happening all this last year the last previous two years and then of course like with japanese cards and alternate arts and evolutions it's just adding additional layers to it people complaining about scalpers that they don't necessarily care about it was just a whole bunch of complaining for absolutely nothing if it does happen if there is a terrestrial evolution set if that's like the main feature they might not even be the main feature they could be something shoved completely to the back it could be like featuring all the brand new pokemon could be like paradox terrestrial pokemon just evolutions are kind of thrown in there just for a little bit of nostalgia there could be no crazy alt arts form there could still be but there could be like a whole bunch of other things going for it we'll see what happens it's going to be a fine set i do think japan is going to start printing a little bit more of that stuff so hopefully it doesn't get to too crazy of prices, but even if it does, the majority of people who open shit for fucking videos are still going to get it. They're still going to pay the price. They're still going to do it. It's going to be a bigger flex, and of course, chasing evolutions has never stopped anybody from thinking about community prices and how it affects anybody else. That's all I got. Appreciate it, Virgin. See you later. Have a good one. Ooh-wee, more Eevees. Eevees 2.0, Eevee Heroes 2.0, Eevee fucking Eevees everywhere.